right, we've got one of these um, observation hives here. I'm just going to do a small uh, bee talk to a primary school and I want to take the bees with me. Uh, I want to make sure that I've got the queen in the top so the children can see the queen and uh, I'll show you a bit more of the um, observation hive in a minute but the key here is to make sure that I get all the brood out of this hive into here. I want the brood in there, I want the queen up there with some brood. I don't really want to leave any in there. I just want to leave frames for the flying bees to come back, um, the ones I don't get into here. It's quite a good point. We've got a feeder in here with the syrup in it to keep them happy. It is a little bit windy today, so the bees, where they're normally calm, they could be a bit tetchy, so uh, we'll see how we go. I've got to give them a bit of smoke. Well, I don't normally give smoke when I'm doing this. Because it's a bit windy, we're uh, giving them a little bit of smoke. I've also got a wind muffler on the mic on the camera, so hopefully it won't be it won't be too uh, noisy on the mic. So we'll gently lift this off the roof. Put that right over there, out of the way. The sun's actually breaking through a little bit on the cloud, but. Uh, What we really want to do as well is we want to put that there like that. We want to, the queen when we put it in here. We want quite a thin, we want quite a thin frame, not too, not too wide with stores, so that there's glass here. You don't want, you don't want a small gap. You want plenty of gap for the queen to go up and down the glass here. I'll show you a bit more of that in a minute. So we go in here first. This is this is one of them things where you really do want to find the queen. So I say I don't normally smoke like that, but as it's not a nice day, well, it's warm enough. It's just a bit windy. We'll um, we we'll check and make sure we haven't got the queen on here. This is this was a swarm. This hive. So it's not very big. I've marked the queen with a red dot. Oh, that's it, not, not there. No queen on there. We've got some frames at the back here. There's nothing on them. We can take them out, give us plenty of space. Now we start at the back. We'll work our way forward. Hopefully, we'll find the queen on a on a thin frame. We're looking on there. That's fully drawn, practically fully drawn out. Um, there's no eggs in here, but they're quite calm on the frame, but even for a windy day. But there's no saying that in this wind, a slight little bit of Go nice and gently like that. Slight gust of wind and it could upset them. Right, we're looking for the queen. There's a play cup on there. It's interesting. A little play cup there. Nothing in it though. Here is the queen. Actually, um, this is a quite a thin frame and it's got a good frame and it's got the queen on it. I might show you the queen there now. If I come over like this, you can see the queen. She's just there. See her? I'll put that one in. It's a quite a nice thin frame. We put that in there, it's got eggs larvae and it's got that clay cup on it. Put the lid on. Right, that's the queen now. That's the queen now trapped in there and safe. And that was a thin frame with um, 
it wasn't sticking out, it wasn't wide, so they've got room to go up and down the sides of it. Now we're looking for all the frames of eggs and larvae to put in the bottom box. We go like this, and that's got that's got eggs in there, cat brood. We can put it in the right way around so we've got that about that way. And we go to the next one. And this is absolutely full of larvae. Well that's cat brood. I'm going to show you the larvae because it's nice condition. You might better see that larvae. There's a bee coming round with pollen on it there, look. Loads of eggs on there, so that's full of eggs. We've got stores down the outside of each one, but we've got the feeder on there as well. And this is the last rain going in, and this is all cat brood. Full of cat brood, that. There we are. Lovely cat brood. The bees are just buzzing around me a bit, which they wouldn't normally do. It's just because of the wind. They gently go down there without sliding and crushing bees. Really gently in like that. Yep. Now all I want to do is just get these, get these few bees off of here. Because there's a bit of um. Can you see there's a bit of uh, burr cone there on the top? See that burr cone on the top? I'm going to get a bit of that off. Reason being, I don't want to crush bees putting the top box on. That's it. I'll put that in there like that. Just get these off of here really gently. Well, there's one right in there. Just moved him out, her rather. Just move them out of the way like they're in there trying to. That's it. We'll put that in the bottom there for now. Putting this on top of here now. The lid so all the bees are in there the queen is in there and uh, put the locks on it can't get out nothing can get out now queen's in the top all the bees are in the bottom now this last frame I'm just going to check this last frame hoping there wouldn't brood on it but there could be there is brood on it as long as there's no eggs oh that's the um that's the frame I've put in there it's a super frame off a of super and they've drawn it down into a deep brood they've actually made a little play cup here as well we'll look in that play cup nothing in there it's just a play cup it's not a queen cell it's uh, the starting of one with no egg in it nothing uh, so you know it all seems okay to me the only trouble is well so we've got we've got somewhere for the bees to go the flying bees here that haven't gone in this box right I'll put the two frames like that 
the other flames back in. Okay. So all the flying bees they will get a little bit catchy because mm -hmm. they wonder what's happening. I'm only going to be gone about three hours and they'll be fine in that time. They soon get back to normal again. As long as I'm not killing and crushing bees, it's the main thing. A bit of smoke on there to get them off, off the edge. Or we'll put the crown wall back on the cover board. Whatever anyone wants to call it. I can go like that, put that on there nicely. I've got a cover over the feeder, put that back. Put the roof back. There we are. We'll go over to the table out of the way of the hive. I'll show you the observation hive now. There we are then, here's our observation hive, we've got all the, the main um, body of the hive is down below with the, I've got a uh, queen excluder up here with the queen up here, so we're, we'll just have a little look in here. It's important that you've got air, vent. we've got an air vent here, just there, and an air vent at the top, so we've got a circulation of air going through, we've got feed in there and uh, we've got darkness with these when we just want to show the children we can take this away we've got the glass now it's important that we don't have any trap bees in here because when you show these to children they will always find a trap bee if there's one be really careful that you don't have any squashed or trap bees so there's room in the glass for the this glass cover there's room for the bees to go up and down and it's the same on the other side. I think the queen is on the other side. Right. We've got a play cup just here, which is good for the children to see. We've got some cat brood. I'll turn it around the other way, gently. Not that way, gently. There we are. Gently like that. Show you this side just briefly. There we are. There's the queen just there, marked with the red dot. You probably can't see that, but I'll... it's um. We've got cat brood here. We've got larvae. We've got stores. So it's quite a good, um, quite a good frame to show the children. So there's your observation hives, I'll take you up a bit closer to see if you can see the queen, there she is, uh, halfway up the frame on the left now, just going to the edge, walking back in. She doesn't seem bothered, the bees are quite calm in there, they're not agitated running about, but you can see down in there, you can probably see the queen excluder. So there's your queen excluder. Yeah, there you are. And just making sure that we've got a front entrance here that that's closed with the lock on. So I'm off to take him in to the school now. Hope it um, is it of interest to somebody to see how to put the bees into an observation hive. That's bye for now for John the Bee Man Saunders again then.